if you find yourself lately feeling kind of lost and down and uh, not really uh, and feeling like you're you know going out of your mind going stir crazy remember you're not alone uh, everyone's dealing with uh, you know going kind of you know uh, stir crazy kind of being stuck up in their up in our houses and stuff all the time and remember it that when you start thinking and feeling that way that everyone else in the country and the world um, you know is going through the same thing so don't um, put yourself in it alone that you, you know you're not alone in this and a lot of us are having the same feelings and stuff but another thing too is try to avoid as much news as possible about the coronavirus or about you know, uh, especially involving, uh, you know, um, you know, the uh, politics and all that, because that will really drag you down really quick um, when it comes to everyday politic life uh, on the news and um, watching politicians fight it out on what's going to happen next. In the, in, during this epidemic. The good thing is, is to start, finally start to see the flattening of the curve of the, you know, epidemic of the coronavirus. And uh, things are finally starting to improve. And, you know, try to roll with that. Don't let it overcome you. Everything's going to go back to, you know, normal again. Just like after 9-11, we were never, you know, things changed after that. That's how things are going to change. It's not like we're going to be able to not be able to go out in public again or be able to live the way we did before. It's just being more cautious and stuff, um, you know. But, you know, all of this will pass, and it's very important to know that, to know that, you know, this isn't the new norm, you know, because that's really depressing to have in your, in your mind thinking this is the new reality, right, that we're all going to be facing as Americans that we're going to be, you know, quarantined at our houses all the time and not being able to get out and do things. And, you know, I know a lot of people there, too, are trying to, you know, um, you know, fight to meet ends meet and pay bills and stuff. And, you know, my uh, prayers and wishes are with you. And um, I, I, but through the same time, through these hard trying times, builds people and builds character and builds um, success stories in life um, that's what kind of happened with my life when I got so down and depressed and tired of being sick and tired and that's what really makes people change for the better so that's one good thing to take out of this that this really what doesn't break you make will make you and even if it does break you it can make you it will make you if you're able to just to keep going uh, positively forward knowing that you're gonna be uh, that things are going to get better. It's all about, ma you know, mind over matter and being more present in the moment and not worrying about what's coming uh, tomorrow or the next day. It's about just being more present in the moment now, enjoying today for what it is and um, not over obsessing or over analyzing uh, what's going on right now because that'll make you go stir crazy and nuts. And, uh, you know, I do this to help as many people as possible. So if you can, um, uh, try to think more positive and your life, you know, th things will feel better. Um, you know, and just know that you're not alone. Um, that we're all going through this. Even me at times feel like I'm going stir crazy. And that's when I go back to meditation and what helps me going back to the present moment. And, uh, please subscribe. Uh, and, um... Um, loving all the comments and thanks for all the subscriptions. It's been great. Um, uh, have a good day. Bye.